All right, y'all, welcome back to Brain Flow TV, which is also Hot Topics TV. Y'all already know if the topic is hot, we're on it. Let's get right into this whole YNW Melly joint. Hit that subscribe button. Listen, YNW Melly's double murder trial is now on hold indefinitely. Woo! Y'all know what the word indefinitely means, right? It means there's no set date to when they are going to actually get to the get to it, right? Now, according to NBC Miami News, YNW Melly's second double murder trial is now on hold indefinitely. A judge is ruling this week to suppress a promotional video about Melly's life from evidence prompted prosecutors to file an appeal. So basically, the prosecutors were trying to get this particular video footage before the eyes of the jury in court at trial. YNW Melly's attorney said, nah, they filed a motion to have it suppressed because it makes him look bad. I explained in the last video before, if it's the documentary footage that I've seen where YNW Melly was handling many guns, in particular, a uh, chopper, uh, AK-47, and saying certain things, it would be wise for his attorneys to try to have it suppressed because a jury seeing it might just stop listening to the whole trial and just find this man guilty, right? It would make his client look bad. It could make them view him prejudicially. So, what happens here, the judge ruled in YNW Melly's attorney's favor. And, of course, the prosecution, the state, did not like it because they want this piece of evidence to go to court. So, what they did was they filed an appeal. Like, we're not just going we're not just going to roll over with the judge's ruling on this one. We want this in court. We think that this is a very important piece of footage. Now, the entire case is delayed until that appeal goes through the appellate court. This could take months. Remember, his trial was supposed to start in March. Given how long this could take going through the appellate courts, this could be April, May, June, July, August, September. Nobody knows. I'm hoping that they just speed this up, get to the point, get this damn case over with. Because at this point, everybody is fed up. The judge is fed up. The prosecution's fed up. YNW Melly's attorneys just banking. They just getting more money and more money as long as the case prolongs. I don't think they really mind. It's like somebody that works and gets paid by the hour. I'm not moving fast. You pay me by the hour, it's going to take me eight hours to do one thing. Yeah, and then tomorrow, you're going to need me to come back so I can move slow again. And you pay me eight hours to do the second thing. I'm not trying to do four things in one day, right? So, YNW Melly's attorneys, they're banking. But I'm sure they're getting frustrated as well because the, the, the prosecution is fighting hard. So, they got to fight back harder to save YNW Melly. Remember, he has a death penalty on the table. He blow trial, he could very well find himself on Florida's death row awaiting execution. Damn, that's a bleak outlook. Florida is one of the states that are active in executing. And <laughs> although you might be on death row for like 10, 15 years, eventually your day comes. Ah, man. But, you know, the family also is saying, come on, it's been four years and change. We need some justice. Something's got to give. I just watched Juvie's mom talking to the news media. And she said every time she went to court, when she entered the courtroom, that Melly would look at her and just start laughing, smiling, smirking. And she found that to be very disrespectful. You know, she was like, this is somebody that I've known since he was a child. We loved him like he was our son. We watched him grow up, literally. And he did something like this. 
and has the nerve to be smiling and smirking every time I come in a courtroom. Like, oh, it's just another normal day for him and nothing is wrong. She takes that as a slap to the face. So the family is also awaiting their day for justice. YNW Melly, whose real name is Jamal Demons, he is on trial for the 2018 killing of his two friends slash business associates slash group members of the YNW, Mel or the YNW Collective. So there's Chris, YNW Juvie Thomas, and then there's YNW um, Sack Chaser Williams, Anthony Williams and Chris Thomas, right? Sack Chaser and Juvie. The first trial against Melly ended in a mistrial. A lot of people thought he was going to go free until they found out a little lesson in the justice system that a mistrial only means the jury could not come up with what was needed as in a unanimous decision, which is required in the state of Florida. So they just have to do it all over again. And here we are waiting for it to be done all over again. The motion centers on a 20 minute, in case you're wondering what it is that the judge just ruled in YNW Melly's lawyer's favor and YNW Melly's favor. They just got a big W because they needed this to be thrown out of court. In case you're wondering what it is, the motion centers on a 20 minute video documentary about Melly's life and his rise to fame, which was filmed just before the double murders occurred. The video often shows Melly holding a gun. In the last few seconds of that video, it mentions the deaths of Thomas and Williams. I think they're going to be also pointing to the video to say you could see his mannerisms in the video because this is obviously right after they were murdered, right? And here you are doing a video like you're a solo artist that blew up and you just lost two homies. When in fact, you are a cor uh, corroborative group. So no mention of them too much throughout the, the video, the documentary. It was all about Melly and all about his rise to fame and all about all that. And then the last couple seconds of the video is like R.I.P. Sack Chaser and R.I.P. Juvie. When they were an intricate part of your journey. And yet they weren't mentioned much. So I think the, the prosecution was trying to bring that to court to point all that out, especially the part in it where he mentions anything about his love for guns, his multiple personalities, how he get down in these streets, anything like that. Right. The defense is trying to get parts of that documentary removed from evidence. So the jury in his second double murder trial will never see it. His lawyer says this is hearsay, but the state says no. This actually proves that Melly was at the scene of the crime. Something he said in that video tripped him up to where the state is saying nobody else would have known that unless they were at the scene of the crime. He told on himself in that documentary didn't even know he told on himself because they could have edited the, the information out but they published it anyways just like it was i want to hear what it is i don't know why the judge would throw it out but you know they're appealing it and they're willing to wait for as long as it takes to go through the appellate courts in order to get this piece in there honestly i hope they get it in there because now I really want to see what it is they were trying to hide. With that said, man, that's the latest update on the whole YNW Melly issue. We'll stay close and we definitely will be following this all the way through to the end, whatever the end result may be. We have no dog in this fight. We just hope that all the chips are laid on the table and justice is served. Hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you on the next video. It's... Hot Topics TV slash Brain Flow TV. You already know if the topic is hot, <laughs> we're on it. I'm out. Peace.